discussion post today, you were asked to restate Dahl's claim in such a way that it directly responds to Sears' statement. We know that Dahl was pro-vaccine. He um, felt like it should be compulsory, which we know compulsory means mandatory, required, versus Sears, who is a pediatrician, who felt like it shouldn't be compulsory. He felt like you should have a choice, correct? So I split you up into two groups. It's not going to be pro and against. It's going to be compulsory versus non-compulsory so meaning you guys believe that you should have a choice to vaccinate and you guys believe it should be a required law so using your book i want you to find textual evidence you are also allowed to find textual evidence online and you are going to have a debate on whether it should be compulsory or not okay so i want at least three articles from the text and three articles from online credible sources so and you guys will have that debate okay yeah. okay did you guys find any textual evidence that supports your claim yeah we did so dr bob sears says it has a small and intermittent presence in our country it makes people sick then they get over it it has complications but rarely so vaccination is important and protective but it cannot be forced a parent must give consent Okay, and so will this be the answer to ending smallpox, or not smallpox, measles? Mm, well, I don't know because it, it says here that not a, there's not a lot of cases, only 141 cases nationwide, and it says that it's slowing down too. Okay, so you should be able to have a choice, correct? Mm -hmm. Are you able to find any online sources that... I did support. actually. There was um, a study on natural immunity uh, during the COVID-19. And it was a study in Israel that found out Israelis who had an infection were more protected against the Delta coronavirus virus variant than those who had already had a highly effective COVID-19 vaccine. This shows that uh, a natural immunity and choosing not to get the vaccine can be just as effective as getting a compulsory vaccine. When the odds are equal like this, it really doesn't make too much sense to force people one way when another way is just as effective. People should still have the right to choose what to do with their own bodies. And what site did you uh, pull this from? I got this from science.com. It was an article written by Meredith Wagner. Uh, um, we are going to start with non compulsory. You have a choice, and you guys believe you should have a choice. So the oldest member of that group is going to start. So from vaccines alone, there's been over like 2,000 severe reactions of which have been reported. And even then there may be more that haven't been. And over 3 billion have been paid out to the victims because of that reaction in their body that they couldn't take. Okay. And that was from Dr. Bob Sear. Well, yes, there are some extreme cases. However, while that number does seem large, it is it is that number out of a couple billion people in the whole world. And to say that those numbers are, like have much of an impact is, is not exactly true. Because like Dahl says, there, there will be one child every 250 years who will develop serious side effects. That is about one in a million chance. So if that's correct, then those numbers would line up with couple billion people. So um, prevent others from getting sick around you, like getting vaccinated, vaccinated or immunized helps protect you and yourself. Like Dal says, um, we think that it should be a law because he says, in my opinion, parents who now refuse to have their children immunized are putting the lives of those children at risk. So I believe that by making people choose they can, like, if they deny to, they put their child and everyone around them at risk. And oftentimes, um, people who aren't vaccinated, if they get other people sick, some people have lower immune systems than others, so it can cause them to get even sicker because of someone who wasn't vaccinated. Okay. Okay, you guys have the floor to go against or oppose as you please. Uh, okay. 
Okay, so one thing could be fear-mongering. The government could use fear-mongering, which is a form of manipulation that causes fear by exaggerated rumors or impending danger. So they could be making you think that this is much more dangerous than what it is. To my source was like independent.org, which said, all animals experience fear. People who call themselves our government, they understand this basic fact, they can exploit it. So say there's a disease going around, they could be saying, hey, you gotta get this, this, this vaccine. If you don't, you're going to die really badly, even though they don't have to take the vaccine and they might live afterwards. How do you think vaccines are made? They're made because the disease spreads initially. Therefore, we do know what things are like without the vaccine, and we know how long it takes for that vaccine, for that disease to run its course. The idea that vaccines should be required is ideally, is basically the government doing fear tactics. They're forcing you to make a decision about your body that you have no say in. If people should have consequences for their choice not to be vaccinated, People should be informed of those consequences instead of just being told that this is the law and this is what you must do. By, act, by um, trying to educate the populace instead of restricting their freedoms, we create a more informed public about their own bodies and our own health decisions. That is not something you get when you make vaccines compulsory. In Israel during COVID-19, that showed that Israelis that got an infection from COVID-19 showed a stronger immunity to the Delta variant than those who got a vaccination. Natural immunity can protect somebody just as much as a vaccine does. And by using that, seeing as they're equivalent, people should have the right to choose which one they opt for, as opposed to just saying you have to take the vaccine because that can lead to variants uprising and you can have a whole new epidemic all over again instead of just teaching our bodies how to deal with new diseases and foreign substances.